have already learnt about a phrase. So, what is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words that acts as a part of speech. That is, it acts as a noun, an adjective or an adverb. It may have a noun or a verb, but it has no subject doing a verb. A phrase conveys some sense, but cannot stand alone to form a complete sentence or to convey a complete thought. Remember that it always depends on other groups of words to make sense. Let us learn a little bit more about phrases today. The queen lost her golden crown. Here, golden is describing the crown. So, this word is an adjective. But, if we say the queen lost her crown made of gold, we are saying the same thing in a different way. Here, made of gold is a group of words that is describing the crown. So, made of gold acts as an adjective here and we know that it is a phrase because it has no subject doing a verb. So, this phrase which is describing the crown and is doing the work of an adjective is known as an adjective phrase. An adjective phrase thus acts as an adjective. So, what is an adjective phrase? An adjective phrase is a group of words that does the work of an adjective. It qualifies the noun or the pronoun just like an adjective. Remember that an adjective phrase comes immediately after the noun it describes. Let us look at a few examples. He is an honorable man. Here honorable is an adjective describing the man and if we have to rewrite it using a phrase, we will write it as, he is a man of great honor. You see, the adjective phrase of great honor is coming after the man because it is describing the man. And we see that of great honor is an adjective phrase because it is describing the man. It is doing the work of an adjective and it has no subject doing any verb. Similarly, he was wearing a blue suit. Blue is describing the suit, so it is an adjective. How do we rewrite the same sentence by replacing the adjective with an adjective phrase? We write it as, he was wearing a suit of blue color. So, instead of writing a blue suit, we have written a suit of blue color. So, of blue color is an adjective phrase here. The poor woman lived in a wooden house. Wooden is an adjective describing the house. How do we rewrite the sentence by replacing this adjective with an adjective phrase? Can you tell me that? We can write it as, the poor woman lived in a house made of wood. So, instead of writing wooden house, we have written made of wood. So, made of wood is an adjective phrase which has replaced the adjective wooden. So, let us look at some more examples here of an adjective phrase that we can use to replace some of these adjectives. So, instead of using eminent as an adjective, you can use of eminence. Instead of writing longest, you can write of greatest length. 
instead of writing silky, you can write made of silk and instead of writing purple, you can write of purple color. Now, can you identify the adjective phrase in the following sentence? The ice cream maker is of no use. So, which is the phrase here that is describing the ice cream maker? Of no use is the adjective phrase that we have used in this sentence. Rewrite the following sentence by replacing the adjective with an adjective phrase. What is the sentence that is given to us? The cows grazed on the grassy meadow. Let us identify the adjective here first. Grassy. So you have to write a phrase that will replace grassy and that will work like an adjective. So what will it be? The cows grazed on the meadow full of grass. Now earlier you have seen that we have replaced adjectives with adjective phrases. Similarly, sometimes we can replace adjective phrases with adjectives as in this case. Tyson is a man of great strength. Here of great strength is an adjective phrase and we can use an adjective instead of the adjective phrase and what will it be? Tyson is a strong man. So strong is an adjective whereas of great strength is an adjective phrase. So in the sentence, the ball behind the sofa belongs to Sam. So which ball are we talking about? Are we talking about this ball? No, we are talking about this ball. We are talking about the ball behind the sofa. So here behind the sofa is describing the ball. So here behind the sofa is an adjective phrase. So what do we see? That sometimes an adjective phrase can also begin with a preposition. And remember that not always can we replace an adjective phrase with an adjective? In this case, behind the sofa is an adjective phrase and we cannot use an adjective to replace this phrase. So remember that not always can we interchange adjectives with adjective phrases. Just like this example, the boy on the terrace is going to fall. Here on the terrace is an adjective phrase which cannot be replaced with an adjective and this phrase starts with the preposition on. An adjective phrase can also begin with a participle. Let us see how. The old woman crossing the road is my neighbor. So crossing the road is an adjective phrase which is beginning with crossing which is a participle and it is describing the old woman. So what did we learn today? We learned about adjective phrases and that it is a group of words that does the work of an adjective. It qualifies the noun or pronoun just like an adjective. An adjective phrase comes immediately after the noun it describes. And remember that sometimes an adjective phrase can start with a preposition or a participle. So I hope that adjective phrases are absolutely clear to you now and that you can identify them with ease in your sentences. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. 
over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English, and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged, and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.